Hi guys, Melissa from Cloud Mom. This video is about free time. How much free time do children really need? Do your kids need? How much free time do your kids get? And a new way that I'm trying to sort of think about this. And over the past couple of years, you see so much on the issue of overscheduling. A lot of experts are telling us it's very damaging to overschedule kids because they need space to think, to sort of figure out who they are. They need to relax, they need downtime, and this intensity, 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 long-term is not good for them. There even been some, you know, some research done that says that kids that have all these activities don't tend to do better later in life, assuming you can even afford them. So, you know, it's a lot of like keeping up with the Joneses, and it's quite hard if your boys play sports, they might be on a team and playing on the weekend, and then they say, oh, we're throwing in this like additional Wednesday booster practice and then you're like oh well I got to do the booster practice because otherwise they won't be good at soccer and oh music it's important for their brain I have to try to make sure they have music and it's all these things that we don't want our kids to miss out on but lately we've had a couple really really busy weekends because my three boys decided they want to play on the chess team well this is really busy because that involves an entire day at a tournament at a school around the city and they're all just starting out and we're mostly like losing, you know, losing and losing, losing, but they really, really like it. But what happens by the end of the weekend is they have sports on Saturday, chess on Sunday, no free time. And what I realized is they're actually missing out on the free time and all these like cool sort of creative, funny things they would come up with to do, sort of relaxing, hang around the house, reading, they're reading less, a lot of things that are super important they are missing out on because of all this busyness. So what's going to happen is once they've done five of these tournaments, they're going to be able to play with their school. And then I think I'm going to do it like once a month, although they're going to want to go all the time. But I think we're going to keep it to once a month because I am really seeing firsthand that when they don't have free time, they're missing out on like all the benefits of that in terms of relaxing, having downtime, being together, reading, and coming up with like creative and cool things to do, which I know is like so important for kids. So anyway, Moms and dads, please wait. How much free time do your kids have? A couple hours a day, a couple hours a week. Do they have things every day after school, once, after, once a week after school? How do you look at the whole thing? Is it something you've really thought about? Love to hear where you are in terms of the whole overscheduling trap. So thanks so much in advance for weighing in and for watching these videos. And I will see you next time on Cloud Mom.